Dobroe utra. So, I watched My Senpai's Annoying, and it's actually pretty good. There's comedy. Those always make me wish mine were bigger. Adorable moments. I'm not surprised with how hard she works. She barely sleeps. Emotional scenes. I don't get it. Why are you being so nice to a little underling like me anyway? And much more entertaining stuff. <gasps> So what are my thoughts? First up, let's talk about the characters. The characters in My Senpai is Annoying are charming and endearing. Their personalities are well defined and their interactions are entertaining. I found myself rooting for the main couple and their supporting cast of friends and colleagues are equally likable. Next up, we'll talk about the story. The story of My Senpai is Annoying is a simple yet effective romantic comedy. It follows the classic formula of a young couple slowly falling in love. But the series' unique workplace setting and the characters' relatable struggles make it feel fresh and engaging. Now, the visuals. The visuals in My Senpai is Annoying are bright, colorful, and appealing. The character designs are cute and distinctive, and the animation is fluid and expressive. The series' setting being an office full of quirky and eccentric personalities is also lovingly crafted. Next up, we move on to the sound. The sound design of My Senpai is Annoying is solid, with clear dialogue and a pleasant soundtrack. The voice acting is also strong, with the voice actors bringing their characters to life with warmth and humor. Now, we have the execution. Overall, My Senpai is Annoying is a well-executed anime that balances humor and heart with skill. Its characters are likable, the story is engaging, the visuals are charming, and the sound design is solid. It's a sweet and charming romantic comedy that's perfect for fans of the genre. So moving on to the final results, we'll talk about our scores. The characters, I'll give a 16 out of 20. Because the characters are well developed and likable, especially the two main leads. However, some of the supporting characters lack depth and can feel one dimensional at times. Moving on to the story, I give it a 14 out of 20. While the story is engaging and fun to follow, it is relatively simple and predictable. It does not introduce anything new or groundbreaking to the romance genre, and overall, it's very generic. Next up, I'll give the visuals a 17 out of 20. This is because the visuals are bright and colorful with eye catching character designs and animation. That complements the comedic and lighthearted tone of the show. However, some of the scenes and backgrounds can be overly simplistic or repetitive. Moving on, I'll give the sound a 19 out of 20. The sound design is excellent with a great voice cast that brings the characters to life and a catchy soundtrack that enhances the overall experience. The opening and ending themes are also very well done and memorable. Last up, we have the execution, which I give an 18 out of 20. The show executes its premise well, striking a good balance between humor, romance, and drama. The pacing is smooth, and the direction keeps the story moving forward without feeling rushed or dragging on. However, some of the jokes and gags can feel repetitive or rely too much on slapstick humor. Now, overall, these scores add up to 84 out of 100, indicating that My Senpai is Annoying is a well-crafted anime that excels in some areas but falls short in others. Now, with all that being said, I would say that 84% is still a fairly high score, and if you're a fan of the romance and comedy genres, I definitely recommend checking this out. Now before I end off the video, I just wanted to thank you for watching, and if you did enjoy it, please do consider hitting that like and subscribe buttons. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Have a good one.